going to teach you to cook a Chinese dish. I'm going to teach you to cook... what's the name of it? Crap. Nongjia Xiao Chao Rou. That is the name of this dish. Uh, for your ingredients, you're going to need some soy sauce. You're going to need a half of a bulb of garlic, some natural sea salts, um, some hot peppers. They can be like sereno or cayenne. Green peppers though, they need to be very hot. Uh, some chicken bouillon and some uh, pork. Now for the pork, um, this can be a little hard to find outside of China or outside of Asia anyways. Um, you're gonna need some pork belly. Uh, the best place you could probably find that is if you'll go to your local butcher and ask them for what is basically bacon, but you're gonna want it non-cured and non-sliced. Um, and then you're, gonna, you're just gonna want a solid chunk of bacon basically before you cut it. Now as you slice the green peppers, you're going to want to make sure that you do it a little bit at a diagonal. Um, uh, next you're going to want to crush the garlic and peel the garlic and then chop the garlic. Something about like this thin. You want to cut it very thin focus there. That's what you want. Thin slices. You're also going to want to lay each of these pieces in the pan as quickly as you can. Let them cook. Uh, it, as they cook on one side, the oil is going to begin to release. and you're going to want to make sure that you get that oil all over top of everything. Um, after you do that, you're going to want to stir it up. You're also going to want to make sure that you do not overcook the meat. Um, you will be cooking it again. Uh, you're going to want to remove it from the pan and leave the oil. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to heat the oil up very hot, um, almost to the point that it wants to scorch, and then we're going to pour in the garlic. Uh, after the garlic uh, cooks for a few seconds, you want to make sure you get it coated in oil and it's, it's very hot. You're going to want to add in the chilies. So add in your pepper and stir it. You're going to now stir it until uh, the garlic starts to brown a little bit. Um, we're also going to add in some salt. Uh, you can add as much as you want. I, I, I prefer to add about two pinches of salt. See now the garlic starting to brown a little bit. Uh, I'm going to stir it around just a little more and then I'm going to go ahead and add the pork back into the dish. You want to make sure you get all the oil out of that bowl. Um, Stir it a little bit more. I'm going to add in some chicken bouillon or uh, some chicken stock. You can actually use liquid chicken stock if you do. If you want to, rather, you can use liquid chicken stock. Um, I'm going to add that, stir it in, and then I'm going to, right at the very end, and you need to make sure that you don't add the soy until the very end of the dish, I'm going to add in just a splash of soy. So again, I'm just going to add in a splash of soy at the end. Stir it up. Uh, it's ready to serve. Bon appetit.